Operation Fatherhood channel here. Let me encourage you all. I want to encourage myself, our society, to use the Chick-fil-A model. Again, use the Chick-fil-A model. I don't even know if there is a Chick-fil-A model. But I, what I mean by that is treating others with respect no matter what the scenario is, no matter how they even act with you. It's interesting how we're taught certain things when we're children, or at least we learn them. Even if our parents are intentional on teaching it, we learn when we go to school about being respectful of others, um, being respectful of others' property, being um, kind to others, even if they're not being kind to us. It's interesting how we learn all that stuff when we're children, and then the older we get, we just kind of forget it or dismiss it or just don't practice it enough so it doesn't stay ingrained in the mind. But it's one of those things I always thought myself was interesting that when it comes to Chick-fil-A, they actually, as far as I've known, I mean, it's possible that there's a there's that Chick-fil-A out there that just has bad employees. But almost every Chick-fil-A I've ever been to has had the most respectful people in it. And even when other folks have given them attitude, they still have tried their best to give the best customer service. I'll give you an example. A few years ago, I was in one Chick-fil-A with my wife and her aunt. Her aunt's an elderly woman, and she put her order in. And there just so happened to be another brother beside us who must have not been having the best of mornings because he was quite rude. I can kind of tell the way he was talking to the employees. But, you know, they were still smiling. And, yes, sir, well, yes, sir we'll make sure we get that order out to you. Well, they gave him his order, but apparently it was the wrong one. Apparently it was my wife's aunt's order. And he snaps back, no, this is not my order. You know, this is the wrong thing. And, you know, he's still being rude and this and the third. So they say, okay, sir, we're, we're sorry. We'll get that fixed. So, they, But they what they didn't realize that one young lady didn't make the mistake of was give the order that was my aunt's after he looked at it to her after he put his hand in it. And he kind of snapped again. You don't do that. That's, you know, I had my hand in that. And I just told told the late young lady, I said, you know, hey, that's okay. We, we appreciate it. And my wife's aunt was like, yeah, that's all right. You just fix it. We'll be okay. And the guy snaps at me like, yeah, yeah that, that is a problem. You know, they shouldn't do that. This, that, that. I was like, you know, first and foremost, I wasn't talking to you. Okay. I was talking to them. Okay. You talk to yourself and we'll talk to them. And he tries to jump back at me. And fortunately, level, you know, leveler heads, cooler heads were, were at play that day because uh, I would have hated to have gotten a fight inside of a Chick-fil-A. I can't fight anyway, but uh, you know, we would have got down. We would have got down. Um, that's never, nevertheless. My point being is that even while me and this guy were kind of drawing at each other, the employees were still being professional. They were still being kind to him when he didn't necessarily necessarily deserve it. And I think to myself, in the culture we live in today, that's kind of the thing I think we don't practice enough of. We don't practice enough of being respectful and loving and kind to each other on a day to day basis. When you cross paths with people that. You had to be buddies with the person or friends with them, but just smile and say, hey, how are you doing today? You know, try that out. This is a Tuesday morning, or at least where I am is Tuesday when I'm doing this. It's a Tuesday morning. Go around and smile at a person. You know, I'm not I'm not saying just pay it forward, like, you know, the whole, you know, like karma or something like that. But just actually be good and be nice to a person. Um, you know, they're being rude to you. Like I said before, you'll be surprised with how you act. And your behavior, how it has an impact on people before. I made made a video about that before, how it made um, my behavior and the actions made an impact on people. So something to think about.